All right, so in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the best creative plot plugin out there. Plot Squared. Plot Squared is a very customizable creative plot plugin you can add to your Minecraft server. So players will be able to claim plots and build on there whatever their heart desires. Now do keep in mind that Plot Squared is a premium plugin, meaning that you will have to pay for it. If you want to purchase Plot Squared for yourself, there will be a link in the description. But if you don't know yet if it's actually worth it for you, I would highly recommend watching this video. And hopefully at the end of this video, you will have a better understanding on what Plot Squared where it is and if it's actually worth it for you. Now before we start, it would mean a ton if you could leave a like on this video. Also check if you're already subscribed to the channel. We're getting really, really close to 14k subscribers, which is of course an amazing epic milestone. You would help me out a ton by smashing that subscribe button, you actually would. And then without any further ado, let's dive right into this. Okay, so before we can actually start setting up Plot Squared, there are a few things you should do and install. First of all, you will of course need to purchase and install Plot Squared. A link to Plot Squared will be in the description of this video. Do remember that you will need to be locked into a Spigot MC account, otherwise you will not be able to view the page. Now after purchasing Plot Squared, simply drag it into your plugins folder and you're ready to go. Now before the setup can start, you will also need to install World Edit. Now you don't need to know anything about World Edit, only that you need it on your server, otherwise you can't set up plot squared. So world edit also link will be in the description. Just download it, drag it into your plugins folder and you will be ready to go. Now with all that stuff out of the way, it's time to install plot squared. So here we are inside of my server folder. So I will assume you've already set up a paper or spigot server yourself and you've installed both world edit and plot squared. After that's done, delete your world your world nether and your world dn folders. Next you want to look for the server.properties file. Open it and over here you want to look for two things. First of all, the level name. The level name you want to change from worlds to plot worlds. Like that. Perfect. After that you want to scroll further down until you see allow nether. You want to change that value to false. After that save your file and exit out. Next you want to look for the bucket.yml file. Open it and all the way at the top you will see allow end. Change this value to false. Because we don't need an end in our creative plot server. After that go all the way to the bottom. At the end of the last line press enter and then we're gonna type worlds colon after that enter two spaces plot worlds colon enter two spaces again generator colon space and then plot squared just like that this is what you want to add at the bottom of the bucket.yml file it should look exactly like this if it does you want to save the file and then exit out and now after we've done all that it's time to reboot our server and after rejoining the server you can see we've created a beautiful plot world mission accomplished so now we can just go inside of a plot type slash plot claim and there we go. It is now my plot. And I will now be able to do anything I want on here. Now do keep in mind though, if you want your players to be able to claim plots, delete plots, merge plots, and they don't have OP on the server, you will need to give them the right permissions through a permissions plugin like Lookperms. If you don't know what a permissions plugin or Lookperms is at all, I would highly recommend watching my video about Lookperms. I explain as much as possible there, but if not every single player on your server is gonna have OP, which is probably the case then you will need a permissions plugin and give the right permissions to the right players now all of the plot squared permissions can be found on the spigot mc page now after we've created a plot world it is time to do some customization so maybe you want to change the plot size or maybe you want to change the color of the road all of that stuff is completely possible so let me show you how to do that so after stopping your minecraft server you want to go to the plugins folder after that plot squared then to the config folder and after that you want to go to worlds.yml open it and this is what you will see so this is the name of our world plot world and here we got all the settings of that plot world so the height for example the height right now is 62 meaning that you can go 62 blocks into the ground well since minecraft 1.19 the world is pretty tall so maybe you want to make this 120 for example then the biome currently it is forest let's change it to swamp then we got the sign material i'm just gonna leave it default 
we also got the size 42 i want to change this to 60 let's make them big blots then the filling is minecraft stone let's make the filling gravel yeah, that's so stupid. But I'm totally gonna do it. Then auto merge. Do you want that enabled or not? I don't. Bedrock. Of course we want bedrock. Create signs. Yeah. The floor. Grass block. It shouldn't be grass block. It should be diamond block. Yeah. Diamond block with gravel. That's good. <laughs> so the filling. I don't want the stone filling. I want deep slate. Then the block when a plot is claimed will just be sandstone slab. That's fine. But I don't want the block of an unclaimed plot to be stone slab. So let's change it to deep slate tile slab. Because that's a awesome block then here we got some road settings so the height is now still 62 let's also change this to 120 and the width i'm gonna change it to 50 so that's a pretty wide road now there are some other settings you can change here if you want to go over them you can go over them for yourself i don't really care about the rest this is the most important part. But if you want to check out the rest, you can of course. So let's Ctrl S, save it and exit out. Now inside of the config folder, we also got the settings.yml file. Now I won't be going over everything inside of this settings file, as the settings file is absolutely huge. But as soon as you've purchased this plugin for yourself, I would highly recommend just scrolling through it one time, checking if you want to change something. But for 90% of people, all these default options are just fine. So you don't actually need to change stuff here but if you want to change some settings you totally can here inside of this file okay so we changed some world settings that's great now let's go back and delete our plot world because we've made quite some changes and of course we wanted to apply to the entire world so let's delete the plot world like that and then reboot the server and upon joining again <laughs> you can see i freaked it up i think it's because of the gravel i think the gravel just fell down but <laughs> the deep slate tall slabs are all the way down here what's beneath that oh here we got deep slate oh i think i know what i did wrong because in total it goes up 120 blocks now right let's see yeah 120 blocks and then all the way down here it is uh, 63 blocks okay i freaked something up uh let me try to fix this there it is the wall size is 62 while the road and the plot are 120 so we need to change this to 120 as well and that should fix the problem also i absolutely hate the look of the quartz block so i want to change that as well i'm gonna change it to stone bricks i think that should look pretty great so then we got a stone brick road a wall from deep slate and then diamond in the middle let's see how this looks so save it again delete the plot world again and restart the server okay let's hope it's fixed come on come on and oh ah yeah we got something Ooh, okay this looks pretty cool so we got a giant road here in the middle then we got these big diamond plots we got a deep slate tall slab wall and beneath the deep slate tall slab we got normal deep slates that's exactly how we said it Cool. And if I now claim this plot, so plot claim, then it should change into sandstone. Yeah. And beneath the diamond, there should be gravel. There is. Okay. Awesome. I like that. So now that you know how to customize the plot yourself, let's go over how you can customize the road. And this is where world edit comes in really handy. So currently the road is just a single block, but you can actually make patterns. You can literally make the road however you want. So let's go and design a road ourselves. And after that, we can make it a schematic and then copy it to every single plot. So this is the recommendation on their own website. So we should make a road design, an intersection, and then it always suggests you to make it a bit larger so that everything goes well during the regeneration so i'm not gonna put too much effort in it let's just select this block fly all the way to the other side and we can select this block and let's do replace stone bricks with uh oak planks birch planks dark oak planks maybe acacia planks mangrove planks and that you do it bypass your restrictions use okay then i will use that command lot toggle world edit there we go try it again and now it works okay that's not so bad now i want everything to look like that so let's do this on every single side okay something like this it's a great design i know i know but now our own plot is completely surrounded by this newly created beautiful road now we want to make sure that this road will appear everywhere 
how do you do that? Well, it's actually really easy. Just go inside of the plot where you created your road around and then type slash plot create road schematic. Press enter and there it is. Saved new road schematic. To test the schematic, fly to a few other plots and run slash plot debug road regen. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Let's test it out. Let's go to another plot, for example, this one, and let's type plot debug road regen. And you can see it's a bit glitchy. So here it has created some roads. This is originally where my road is at. So this is the place where I created it. But if we now go and and fly all the way to the other side. Here you can see it. It has already started creating some road here. And it's also copying this part. <laughs> so that's not really what I want. So let's go back to my original plot. Let's do plot delete like that. Okay, so now we don't have that sandstone slab border anymore. Now I'm gonna do create road schematic again. Giving myself speed four, going all the way to here. And now we're gonna test it again. So plot debug road regen plot. There we go it is and yeah that kind of looks like what we want just this road everywhere but of course all of this stuff has already been generated we want this road to be in the default generation so how do we do that it is actually just a single simple command inside of your console so don't stop your minecraft server but do go out of minecraft you want to go to your server console and then type without a slash plot space regen all roads space plot world so plot region all roads plot world press enter and you can see it is progressing so it's now two percent there five percent there eight percent there currently it is regenerating all the roads this might take a while it can actually take a really long time but after this process is done all your roads should be regenerated. Everything should have that new wooden road. Now, while it's doing this, please don't do too much in Minecraft. You don't want to stress out the server. After it's done, you will see it here. And then you can start freaking around in your server again. There we go. It says finished road conversion. But if we now go back in game, you can see that all the roads have been regenerated. And from now on, all the roads that will be generated will look like this. How cool is that? Now, if for some reason not everything has been regenerated, first make sure to restart your Minecraft server. And if that doesn't work, retry the command in your console and hopefully everything will be regenerated then. And then that's gonna be it. This is how you set up plot squares on your Minecraft server. If you did enjoy this video, it would really mean a ton if you could leave a like. Also check if you're subscribed to the channel as most people who watch my videos are actually not. If you do have any more questions, make sure to leave them in the comments of this video and then i hope you all have an amazing day and i will see you in the next one bye bye